गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर एजुकेशनल चैनल स्पेशली इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर एफ आई बी कॉम सेमिस्टर टू एंड दैट टॉपिक इज नोन एज अकाउंटिंग फ्रॉम इनकम्प्लीट रिकॉर्ड्स ऑन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव विच कैन बी एक्स फॉर कमिंग एग्जाम सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट प्रॉफिट कैन बी एस अटेम फ्रॉम द इनकम्प्लीट रिकॉर्ड under the single entry system by using statement of affairs method and conversion method if books are kept under single entry system opening stock is ascertained by preparing the memorandum trading account opening capital is ascertained by preparing the opening statement of affairs closing balance of trader creditor can be ascertained from total creditors account general entry for cash purchase cash account debit to purchase Unrecorded sales should be added to the sales. Total as R rupees twenty five lakhs and total liability R ten lakhs. The capital will be fifteen lakhs. Cash purchase can be calculated from the total creditors account. General entries can cash sales. So cash account will be two sales. When goods are returned from customer, total debtors account is debited. When goods are sold on credit basis. Debtors account is credited and sales account is credited. If books are kept under single entry system, credit purchases are ascertained preparing the total creditors account. An estimate of asset and liability as on date is called dash statement of affairs. If books are kept under single entry system, credit sales are ascertained by preparing the total debtors account. For bills payable accepted by creditors. Creditors account debited and bills payable account credit is credited. Now, this is practical objectives. Opening balance of debtors fifty thousand, closing balance of debtors seventy thousand, collection from debtors one lakh twenty thousand, sales return ten thousand. Amount of credited sales will be dash. We have to find out. So we will prepare debtors account to find out the credit sale. So particular amount, particular amount for. Seven lines. So two balance brought down fifty thousand given. Last line credit side by closing carry down seventy thousand given. Now in this case collection from debtors. So general entry for this cash account debit to debtors. So debtor account credit side. So we will go to debtors account. We will go to credit side where we will buy cash one lakh twenty thousand. So after that sales return ten thousand. So for this general entry. Sales return account debit to debtors. So again, debtor credit side, we will go debtors account. We will go credit side by sales return ten thousand. Total credit side minus debit side, we will get the answer one lakh fifty thousand. Practice this. Calculate the purchase. Now under this cost of sold, how much given? One lakh thirty thousand. Stock at beginning, how much given? Eight thousand. Closing stock, how much given? Ten thousand. So simple formula. Cost of sales is equal to opening stock. Plus purchase less closing stock. So cost of sales given one lakh thirty thousand. Opening stock is given eight thousand. Purchase we have to find out and closing stock is given ten thousand. So purchase is equal to one lakh thirty two thousand. After this, opening balance debtors is given fourteen thousand eight twenty eight. Closing balance is given debtors twenty three thousand four sixty. Cash received from debtors eighty six five thirty. This is for your practice. Find out figure. From the following information, calculate the value of purchase. Now, in this case, we have to find out purchase. Opening creditors given one lakh forty two thousand six hundred. Cash is given five lakh forty two thousand three hundred. Discount receipt is given thirteen thousand two hundred. Goods returned twenty seven thousand five hundred. And closing creditors given one lakh thirty seven thousand eight hundred. So, in this case, we will prepare creditors account like debtors account. Now. Creditors is a liability, so by balance brought down one lakh forty two thousand six hundred is given. And last line debit side two balance carried down one lakh thirty seven thousand eight hundred is a given. Now in this case we paid cash. How much paid? Five lakh forty two thousand three hundred. So general entry for this creditor account debit to cash. So creditors is debit side. So we will go credit side. We will go debit side to cash. Five lakh forty two thousand three hundred. So again goods return is given. General entry for this creditor account debit to goods return. So we will go debit side, 
will go creditor and two goods it and twenty seven thousand five hundred. So total debit side minus total credit side and balancing figure fifty five thousand one thousand eight hundred is the answer. After this total sales during the year one lakh seventy thousand cash sales ten thousand outstanding debtors at the end of the year twenty five thousand. Receive from debtor. We have to find out. So sales one lakh seventy thousand less cash sales ten thousand less outstanding debtors twenty five thousand. Answer is one lakh thirty five thousand. Now this is for practice. We have done debtors account previous also. So this is given for your practice. So twenty two, sum number twenty three, sum number twenty four, sum number twenty five. Sum number twenty six. All are sum number twenty seven. All are practical question which can be asked for exam. So practice this. Similar we already discuss. Therefore this is given for you. Practice twenty nine. And all these are practical sum you have to practice. So thank you for watching and all the best for your exam.